Hi, my name is Mike Schwartz and I'm the Managing Director of iTech Minerals. Thanks for joining me today for a, a quick update on our recent news we just put out on the really excellent metallurgical results we've got for the Lacroma Graphite Prospect. Um, we were very, very pleased to get these back because this shows us that we can very simply and cheaply produce a high grade uh, saleable quality concentrate of 94% total graffiti carbon from the Lacroma graphite mineralization. Now, why is this so important? Well, it, what we have to do in releasing a, a graphite resource or a mineral resource estimate for Lacroma is show that we can produce this economic concentrate. And we've done that now, and we've shown that we can do it with really excellent recoveries. We had an idea that Lacroma was a bit special and a bit different because when we were sieving the uh, the samples on the drill rig, we could see that most of the graphite in that sample was floating on the surface of the, the buckets of water we were using to test. Uh, and that now has shown to be true in uh, the flotation test work that we've done because we can recover 95% of the graphite um, that is in that mineralization. Now that's an exceptional result. Uh, so we're very, very pleased with that. So if we look at some of the other projects around the place, uh, they get sort of 80% recoveries at, at best, 80 to 85. Um, we're, we're sitting at about 95. So, so what does that mean for Lacroma? Well, it, it means that that combines with some of the other characteristics of the ore body to tell us that we've got a really good chance of producing uh, graphite at a very low cost from Lacroma. So what else is um, important at Lacroma uh, that shows us that these costs might be low other than that metallurgy? Well, uh, first of all, the ore body uh, comes out at the surface. So there's very little, over, if any, um, overburden to remove to start um, uh, getting that mineralization into the process in the plant. Uh, secondly, is that the ore body has a very shallow dip. So not only is it at the surface, but it dips shallowly. So there's a good, what we call, um, uh, of, of strip to ore ratio. And finally, probably one of the most important things for Lacroma is that it is very deeply weathered and there's a low groundwater table. And those two things are, are combined. Uh, and why is that important? Well, it means that the rock, uh, or I should say clay material that hosts Lacroma is very soft. So the cost of mining that is likely to be very low. So we're hoping you know, that large parts of it could even be uh, a free dig operation. So. Uh, now, the groundwater being low, that's important because uh, you're not having problems with acid mine drainage. There's no sulfur in the top part of the ore body, and that sulfur weathers to, put, to, to cause acid in a lot of other ore bodies, but we don't have that problem at the Chroma. Um, and also, we're not pumping uh, out large amounts of groundwater to keep the pit dry. Uh, that groundwater comes in uh, at the highest at 60 metres, but quite often at 80 or even 100 metres. So we can dig down to that that level without having any groundwater problems. So when you put all those together, you can start to realize why we've persisted and targeted uh, in drilling out the Lacroma graphite mineralization, because we think it's got all those characteristics, um, that simple geology and simple metallurgy uh, that can lead to you know, having a, a trouble-free, low-cost graphite operation. I guess there's one other thing I wanted to touch on. We recently released an announcement uh, about our Reynolds Range project in the Northern Territory. Now, our geologists at the moment have finished all of their drilling at Lacroma Central. Uh, they're back in the office um, and we've handed over most of that data for the mineral resource calculation and the metallurgy to external consultants to undertake that kind of work. So, so our geologists are now busy building up drill targets at Reynolds Range. So we initially focused on, on copper and gold and we've shown some excellent potential over about a 45 kilometre trend for gold mineralisation. Uh, and there's also been rock chips uh, in that in that gold trend of, for copper of up to 20.3%. So yeah, watch this space, lots going on at iTech uh, and uh, stay tuned for more information on both the Lacroma Central Graphite Prospect and our Reynolds Range Copper Gold, Rare and Lithium Project. Thanks for listening.